Hi, this is Bev. I wanted to share some tips with you to get started using Technique Tuesday Die Lines with your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. If you go to our website and click on the Shop menu and then on Die Lines, you'll see all the die lines that are available. For this video, I'm going to be using the Party Lights die lines, but you can use the same steps with whatever die lines you purchased. When you made your die line purchase, you received a link to the die lines file, and you should have already downloaded those files and have them uncompressed on your computer. If you need help with those steps, you can go to the frequently asked questions for our die lines and see written instructions, or you can watch a video that we made covering those steps. Once you have the die lines saved on your computer and uncompressed, you will need to adjust a couple settings in your Silhouette Studio Designer software. When you initially get the Silhouette Studio software, it is set up to resize the die lines when you open the file. And if you bought the die lines that match a stamp set, you really don't want the software to resize it for you. So here are the steps you need to make to tell the software not to resize the die lines when it first opens the die lines file. Open your Silhouette Studio software and go to the File menu. You're going to want to go down and click on the Preferences. And then you're going to want to click on the Import Options section. Within that Import op Options section, you're going to want to click on Import DXF as is and Import SVG as is. So once you've selected, and you can also do that for importing D GSD too. So once you've got that selected so that you're not going to resize the, so the die lines, you're going to want to go ahead and click OK. To open the die lines file, you're going to want to go to the File menu and then click on Open. Now you'll notice that when it initially comes up, you'll see the die lines file that you've downloaded. In our case, it's Party Lights. And when you click on that, you'll see that there are three file type folders there. And each of those folders lets you work with, with different die cutting machines. For the Silhouette Designer Edition, we're going to want to go to the SVG file. And initially, it looks like there's no files, just a directory called Extras in that area. But when you go down to the bottom and click on Files of Type and choose SVG, you'll see that it actually shows up with the SVG file being there. Then click on OK, and that will cause your die lines to open and display the cutting mat. Now you'll notice that you can see the die lines on the cutting mat, but in fact, the Silhouette software hasn't really made them into cut lines. They've assumed it's a no cut. So you need to click on the little scissors icon and tell it that these, in fact, are edges to be cut. You'll also notice that all those die lines are grouped together. And if you don't want to cut all of them, you can ungroup them by going to Object and then Ungroup. Now you can pull over the die lines that you actually do want to cut. So there's the phrase, maybe, and the line. Or you can pull off the ones that you're not sure you really want to cut right now off the cutting mat and position them wherever you want on your cutting mat. Once you've chosen the die lines that you want to cut, you would just go ahead and cut them like you always do. So load your mat and do whatever you need to do. Now when you're done cutting out your die lines and doing whatever you want to do to make your project, I want to mention that you should be careful about saving your die lines. If you've deleted a die line or you've moved them off the cutting mat, um, when you save it, it will also save those changes. If you accidentally save the file after you've deleted some die lines, you can always go back to our website and log into your account. And if you purchase the die lines, they'll show up there and you can download them all over again. Now before I wrap up this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about some more ideas where you can get information about your new die lines. If you're looking for inspiration, you can go back to our website and click on the die lines that you purchased. And in addition to all the purchase information, there are pictures of projects that so include cards, tags, sometimes home decor, often layouts, that kind of information is there. And if you click on any of the pictures, you'll see a bigger picture. And then oftentimes, if there's any special techniques or anything, we'll include that information here too. So if you're looking for inspiration, go back to our website. It's a good place to go.
If you find that your die cutting machine isn't cutting the lines as cleanly as you would like, you're going to want to reread your user manual that came with your die cutting machine or get in touch with their customer support folks. It could be as simple as adjusting the blade settings or replacing your cutting mat, but your die cutting mach machine manufacturer is the best place to go to figure out how to make your machine work efficiently and effectively. I also wanted to show you that there are some additional things that came with your die cut files that you got from Technique Tuesday. Um, if you look at that directory that has your die lines in it, you'll find that there is some instructions. And if you open the instructions, it's got a lot of the information that I covered in this video. So if you're one of those people that likes having it written down, it talks about how to keep it from resizing. It talks about that there's a, it's going to cut a small border around the edge. But then it also talks about some of the extras that are in that extras directory. And I'm going to talk about that extras directory in a different video. So you can either read it there or you can go and listen to the other video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it helps you get started using Technique Tuesday die lines with the Silhouette Studio software. If you'd like to see more project ideas, please join one or all of our online communities. We share project ideas every day on our Facebook blog and Pinterest boards. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. And when you go to our website, you may also want to sign up for our email newsletter. In addition to project ideas, our newsletters feature tips and techniques for using our products, new product announcements, and exclusive online promotions. Thanks for watching.